Today we bring you a shorter video featuring Arlo Gibbons, played by actor Raymond J. Barry. Although there's no Arlo Gibbons character in Elmore Leonard's Fire in the Hole book, the novel this series is based on, Barry does a great job of playing this dirtbag who would easily win Worst Father of the Year. Seriously, if there was ever a character that was as rotten to the core as Arlo, I have yet to meet him. To give you a bit of history, Arlo Gibbons was father to Raylan Gibbons. He was married twice, first to Frances Givens, who was Raylan's mother, and she died when Raylan was young, and secondly, to Helen, Frances' kind-hearted sister, who stepped in when her sister died to help raise the boy. Arlo was a Vietnam vet, and he suffered from PTSD as a result. He was into all sorts of criminal activities, and he regularly beat Frances and abused Raylan. We think Arlo was one of the biggest reasons that Raylan got out of Kentucky and joined the Marshal Service in the first place. Arlo was a partner of Big Daddy Bo Crowder, Harlem crime lord, and he was also involved in running drug shipments and racketeering in Bo's empire, but they kicked him out of the mob because he was caught embezzling. We first see Arlo trying to get rent from a guy who was renting a house from him, and Arlo trashes the place. I mean, at the time, he didn't know Perkins was a drug dealer, but he accidentally discovers a drug cache in a hidden compartment in one of the closets, and of course, he steals the drugs. The sheriff tries to smooth things over between Arlo and Perkins, but Arlo isn't having any of it, and he ends up in jail for assault. <clears throat> Man, my goddamn rent. You know the drill, Arlo. Raylan bails his father out of jail and drives him home, where they find that Helen was attacked by Perkins and his gang, who want the drugs back. I like the hat. I want it back. <laughs> what? Your dignity? Threatening my husband makes three. Uh, should I be scared? Hey, guys, you scared? <laughs> When we next see Arlo, he's talking to Raylan and Art Mullins at the station, where they try to talk him into spying on Bo Crowder. Of course, Arlo refuses at first. He doesn't want to be a snitch. You want me to be a snitch? It's astounding to me that you're just now realizing that's why we're here. What's it pay? But then he appears to relent and agrees to meet with Bo. The marshals give him 20 grand, and he's supposed to use that to get back in Bo's good graces. But, of course, Arlo hatches another scheme that, of course, backfires. He keeps the money and agrees to meet with Bo later. You're going to have to trust me, Bo. Bo has a right to be suspicious, and when they do meet, he tells Arlo that he needs him to give up Raylan so that Bo can get back in the good graces of the mob. Arlo is supposed to shoot Raylan in the leg, and then in would rush the assassins to finish the job. So you thought that would work, Arlo? You don't know your son very well known me 50 years. You think that ought to incline me to trust you more or less? In order for me to get square with him, I'm gonna have to ask you to help me give them Raylan. What's the plan? For me to shoot you in the leg, Bo wants to take your life. <laughs> Well, when that little plan goes south, Arlo's put under house arrest and has to wear an ankle monitor until he pays back the 20 grand he took from the marshals. But of course, he can't even get that right. He's violating house arrest by living in a trailer when Helen won't let him back in the house. Arlo! What? You're violating! I'm what? You're kidding. You think I got a camper in the yard because I like the look? Return the 20 grand we gave you. Get in the house. He does, and I'll shoot his other arm. Helen finally relents when she sees Raylan's actually serious about taking Arlo to jail, and she also talks him into going down to the station with what's left of the 20 grand. But, of course, Arlo doesn't have the 20 grand. He's short about $14,000. So Helen gives up information to the feds in exchange for Arlo's house arrest being lifted. Go ahead, woman. You already yacked up this much. Lay it on him. Bowman Crowder. Damn shame, man, you weren't being dead in a box at the hands of your old girlfriend, wasn't it? Arlo's next big adventure happens when a thug starts shooting at their house. Raylan gets everyone inside and apprehends the shooter, but not before Arlo gets shot again. 
but this time in the leg. While he's convalescing, he's visited by Boyd Crowder and Johnny, and they talk him into joining up to rob Dickie Bennett of a ton of weed. While the robbery goes as planned, Dickie recognizes Arlo and retaliates by breaking into Helen's house and killing her. I mentioned Raylan took off my ankle tether. Means I'm free to come and go as I please. Uh, since you called off the deal that I made with your mom, I'm gonna have to take all the weed business too, starting with this right here. And of course, Arlo won't take the blame for Helen's death himself, and he tries to blame Raylan instead, which doesn't go over so well. You think it was the Bennetts? You killed Coover. Now your aunt is dead. You suppose that's a coincidence, law man? So it's just Dickie you're after then. And so it goes with Arlo. It's the same shit over and over again. He seeks revenge against Dickie, which fails. You're not going to arrest me. Take these things off of me! Being part of Boyd's crew trying to sell weed to Hot Rod Dunham, which fails. You got mold, you got mildew, you got rats and mice eating on it out in the shed. Three weeks ago, maybe. We were thinking that now we I'm might... I'm talking to the gentleman. Let us have the beaver. That go about the way you expected? I could use a drink. He then goes off his meds and starts seeing his latest wife, Frances, who's been dead for decades. Independent. They're all the same nowadays. Bunch of bullshit, damn woman. Always talking back. Never listen to man in the house. Independent. Independent. I'm not leaving until you send one of your lap dogs up in that maze and bring back my Frances. Coming here, moving the furniture, hiding my shit. God damn it, woman. I don't find them. I'm going to lay a strap across your back. Who are you talking to? Sneak up on a man like that, a good way to get yourself shot. By you and your boxer shorts there? I think I got the drop on you this time, Arlo. The hell do you want? And not only Francis. He has a vision of Helen scolding him for not getting revenge for her death. Here you sit, head hung like a piebald mule. You bite your tongue, Helen. Put you in here to rot while he takes what he likes and leaves you the wishbone. God damn it, Helen. I said shut your mouth! Arlo! Did you take your meds today? He tries to shoot his son again and fails in a huge way when he shoots Trooper Bergen. Drop your weapon or I will shoot. Drop it now. He confesses to the killing, but also confesses to killing Devil to save Boyd, and it's off to jail for Arlo yet again. Same reason you did what? Yeah, I killed Devil. We are done here, Art. No. He was ready to take Boyd out, and I took him out first. So you killed Devil? That's right. Why'd you do it? I did it to protect Boyd. First, I killed Devil. Then I killed the trooper. And while he's in jail, he slits the throat of a guard getting a bit too curious about a mysterious canvas bag hidden in his house containing information about Drew Thompson. Well, at least the name Waldo Truth. My advice, just put that bag back in the wall and forget about it. I didn't say it was in the wall. That your son the marshal came to see you? Why? So I bring in some bag. Because I heard about a bag like that once before. Could be worth some money, old man. We play our cards, right? Why? Why? And once again, he's face to face with Raylan, being asked for information on Drew Thompson, in exchange this time for being transferred to a country club jail. And, once again, it's an Arlo classic comeback. For once in our lives, let's work together, huh? I've considered it. Eat shit. But he's not in jail for long. Just long enough for Hunter Mosley, who was a friend of Drew Thompson's, to attack and fatally stab Arlo. And so he dies. No redeeming qualities. No one left who cares about him at all. A horrible husband and an even worse father. 
And his final words to Raylan are no surprise. Closer. Kiss my ass. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and leave us a comment below. And remember to subscribe to our channel to be notified when we make more.